5 illegal things you do daily. For today's video, we're going to be a little different. We'll share with you some everyday stuff that is actually illegal. Welcome to Golden Lux, the channel that inspires future millionaires. Click the subscribe button for continuous inspiration. Stay tuned until the end of the video to receive our daily words of motivation. Number one, using a fake name online. There are times when you want to protect yourself from identity thieves, so you end up using a false name on the internet instead. We know you want to feel safe and secure, but this is actually illegal, and you can be charged for the crime of hacking, which can imprison you for up to 20 years. Although, there are still websites that don't really care that much about fake identities, that doesn't make it legal. Number two, using social media while underage. Collecting an underage individual's personal information is illegal, which is why most of social media platforms restrict children from having an account. Creating an account while you're still young makes you vulnerable to predators. If you're a parent or a guardian, protect your kids and be responsible if you want them to enter the online world. Number three, downloading from torrents. Well, it's not really illegal to download files using torrents, except if you're getting a copyright file. Although the chances of you getting arrested because of torrenting is rare, it's still not impossible that you get caught if your IP address is tracked. Hollywood production companies can even hire copyright trolls that will follow your computer so they can get settlement money from you if they catch you. Number four, sharing subscription passwords. You may want to help your friends to spend less. Instead of them paying for their own subscription, you end up sharing yours. Because why not? You want to be a good friend. But just because you don't get caught by doing this doesn't mean it's legal. In the United States, unauthorized password sharing is considered a violation under the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act. Number five, stealing Wi-Fi. Getting free internet connection is a blessing, but if you're unauthorized to connect to a Wi-Fi network, even if it's not secured with a password, you are actually stealing. These people are paying for their internet bills, while here you are mooching off their connection. You can't get arrested for connecting to someone else's Wi-Fi, but you can get fined for it. Have you been doing any of this? We want to hear your thoughts. Comment them down below. Since we're talking about illegal things today, we'll give you a fun fact instead. Did you know that entrepreneurs like Martha Stewart, Frederick Hudson, and Frank Abagnale were ex-convicts before they became successful? We're not telling you to go and do a crime so you can achieve success. Instead, we want you to know that it's never too late to be wiser and smarter. Thank you for making time to watch this video and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and click that bell icon so you'll always be updated. We'll see you soon.